Hi, I'm Jonathan Mark Mendes, Painted Love, and I've teamed up with Dunelm to get all crafty and creative. Welcome to my home workshop. Let's get stuck into today's project. We're heading to spring now and I want to bring the outside in. So let's get all kind of creative with these two wreaths. First up, we're gonna go with an ordinary garden pot. All I'm gonna do is take some Rust-Oleum furniture paint and the color that I'm using is anthracite. The older the brush, the better for this. Apply paint to the surface of the pot liberally, but we're gonna do it in a stipple fashion, adding some sort of texture to the surface. This is the first coat. We're gonna put another coat of paint over the top. So now all we've got to do is leave to dry. Now time for some paint magic. Now here I have an old plant spray and I'm gonna take some Rust-Oleum furniture paint in chalk white. I'm gonna pop a small amount of paint into the bottom of the jug. Probably about 50-50 paint and water. Maybe a little, little bit more water. It needs to be runny enough to be able to go through the spray. Kind of a milky quality. So we're going to decant into the spray bottle. There she goes. Make sure your table surface is covered up or you go outside and spritz away. And what you'll find is creating lovely little textures speckles, whatever you want to call it, take a scrunched up piece of cloth and just dab in a random fashion. This will add a little bit of texture. Don't cover every section of the spritzing, some of it allowed to be free and that kind of looks more weathered. Simple as that. I'm super happy with the patina on my pot. This is how it's going to look at the end. So first up, we're going to need some cardboard. The best sort of cardboard to work with is cardboard boxes. Draw around the top of the pot with a pencil. We're going to do this twice over. Now the top section, this needs to fit inside the pot. We're going to take away about a centimetre, so it should wedge down to that inner ridge. The other measurement with your cardboard box is the base of the pot. So the same thing again, we're going to draw around the base and again, this time add a centimeter on to the base all the way around when cutting. It doesn't have to be too precise. Now the reason that I've chose to do two circles, top and bottom, Corrugated card bends very easy one way. So this means that we can create rigidity by doing opposite ways with the card and we're gonna glue them together. It's gonna sit deep inside that pot. It doesn't go all the way to the bottom, so that's gonna help support. And the same for the top with the inner ridge. It needs to be a really tight fit. Now, the garden cane is to create upright support. So the cane is basically gonna sit alongside the pot on the internal of the pot, each side. So I'm gonna cut this cane probably right down the middle. I'm going to use a little bit of hot glue just to secure the two canes. Two blobs, big blobs of glue, straight against the base of the pot and in. Then we're gonna use the circles of card. And we're gonna use the hot glue again to stick these together. Tuck these into the base, nice and tight. It's now wedged into the bottom. Now the top is slightly different. We need to make two little grooves, but very small ones. We're gonna cut out two little triangles, one, two. Another Dunelm wonderful um, moss roll. So we're gonna put this in strips across the card, covering all of the brown card underneath. Now, once you've got your moss laid to the base, you can flip it over and trim the excess off. 
you're going to need a braddle or something sharp. So I'm going to do four holes. So we're going to take some floristry wire. So we're going to go through one side, bend it outwards, and loop back in and through the other side. And splay, splay the two wires open, like so. And the same again on the other side. Now, what you'll find with these reeds, they've got a few branches that you can pull around. Pull them out, fluff them out. This will help when we try and disguise all of the metal work at the end. Put two together, and we're going to wire just the top half. So what we have now is a sandwich where it's kind of open to one end. Find the notches each side, and we're going to pop this down and in and push really tightly and we're going to slide that over the top, like so, pushing right down to the base. Locate the wires from the base and twisting round. And that should hold the whole thing down, and it's nice and firm. The final part of the project adds some battery-operated lights. I'm going to unravel the wires and work from the back. Tuck your battery pack deep into the bottom. Hide any of the wires. And all that's left to do is find a beautiful place in your home, switch on the lights, and enjoy your topiary wreath. So if you enjoyed today's tutorial, don't forget to like, comment, or even better, subscribe to see the next one.